A America, here's my motion to have this uh, hearing re uh, recorded. WV CourtCorruption.com and Nutty Nuts YouTube enjoys showing off your human and civil rights violations. Defendant request this court lets me record hearing and does not violate First Amendment freedom of press and does not commit federal crime 18 U.S.C. 242 violating my civil rights and lose immunity under ruling of U.S. Supreme Court ruling and uh, I my this motion is based upon er, the following grounds my civil rights as an American to be my my civil rights as an American to record corrupt actions in a courthouse who owes me millions and is trying to cover it up with false arrests. Okay, now let me return it. And uh, she is going to, I can't even see if this is recording, which it is. And uh, she's going to turn it in for me. Go ahead. And we will see if they deny that. When you put it to language in these hey, people with grandiose delusional syndrome who think that they are gods of the earth with their black dresses flying around like witches, you know, they get this idea that they're almighties and can do what they want. And when you put it in English that they can understand street language, it works a lot better than a bunch of gibberish. Hey, YouTube and Facebook. Here we go. I'm going in here with a bunch of corrupt, evil humans that I'm fighting in the state of West Virginia right now. This is good versus evil, simple. What's going on here today? Uh, when I bought that motorhome, a fucking cop uh, pulls up. We'd already called the towing company, Hillbilly Towing. Already called them, transmission lines broke. There was three of us. And the one guy disappeared that was driving the motorhome. And when uh, the, the cops showed up, somebody else called the police. They did not even need to be present. There was no need for them to be there. Somebody called and said there was a wreck. My two vehicles. I got charged with double vehicle charges. Driving the same vehicle with it twice. And here's the one here that's greedy. His name is John Wrong. Oops, John Wright is his real name. He has no evidence here today and thinks that he is going to steal money. He's money hungry right now. He's got a heart on right there wanting to get uh, wanting to get money from me because uh, it was a $960 some dollar check. The judge that we're dealing with today, she is a good one. She set me lower bail than anybody. But she still did not follow the rules of being a judge. She set the bail $170 some dollars. We'll find out the exact amount here in a little bit higher than what it should have been because they never schedule you multiple court hearings on the same exact day or a different way they never wait they never schedule you separate court hearings on different days it's all scheduled on the same day always she charged me extra court costs when it is all held on the same day and she told me in jail you shouldn't be in jail for this but then tells me I can't check a box that I want an attorney what was I doing in jail if it was not even a jailable offense what they arrested me for. John, I'm sure he's not going to answer that because he right now, America, is vi violating 3.8a. A prosecutor shall never press charges on a person without probable cause. It will be very fun seeing him in the courtroom today trying to beat that. And last time he committed a bias crime, which is the same as a hate crime, 18 U.S.C. 249. He violated right there that a law professor from New Jersey who is retired told me the same thing. And these punk asses from West Virginia, where uh, Patrick Morrissey, the biggest dope dealer in, whom the big, the husband of the biggest dope dealer in the state of West Virginia, Patrick Morrissey, 
wife she is, but he right now went to he went to Rutgers University, and Rutgers University will be the ones from the ACLU director that's going to come out once the Supreme Court makes their ruling. But we have an inbred hillbilly one-eyed judge, Tim or uh, Tim Armstead. Do not vote for that man. Get him out of office. Little preschoolers, I know it was a shame. The R. Neely should have won. That's who I voted for. Neely would be the best. He wanted to stop corruption. But get Tim Armstead out of... What? I don't know. I've never been convicted of anything there. See how ignorant, uneducated, and biased, prejudiced that man is right there? Pull it up. Go, go research it right now and prove to my audience. Prove to my audience I was convicted of anything. That's the big deal. There has never been an ending. I served all the time and was never convicted because the bald, dementia, dyslexic judge David R. Jaynes fucks up our nation stealing federal funds. I was never convicted, served three years where WVU Medicine stole $818,532.80 Medicaid fraud. Has no record, has no consent to see me. The felony is still pending, blocked me from getting a job for 10 years. I want to get a job, but in West Virginia, Patrick Morrissey, the husband of the biggest dope dealer, wants you to get on opioids his wife distributes, and she... No, this was just laying in my house, and I put it on. It's my work shirt. Did you say go balls? What? Go, go balls. You say I don't even know what that means. No, the volunteers, it's short, like, that's a cheer. Go balls. Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. If you go to college, you've ruined your life. It hurts your brain more than physical brain damage does. Can't you support the volunteers? Volunteers. Tennessee. No, I don't play none of those games. I'm not getting into that. But the subject is, he just said right there, he's a con artist. He is trying to make you believe things. Just like Jeff Freeman is a con artist. Do not vote for Jeff Freeman. Get the other bald-headed man in there. Mac something. Whatever starts with an M. And in my other video that I just posted, I made an error there. It is um, Mike McKinley. I'm pretty sure the name is. I'm bad with names. But that's the one. Something whatever is MC you see running for U.S. Congressman. Do not vote for that man there, because he is down and dirty. The other video explains all that. But we're going to go in here today and question the prosecutor if he's violating the rules of professional conduct with having no evidence against me. They wrote me six tickets, and he is money hungry because Ellen, the best lady I've ever met, she checked the box that says that the money can be used to pay the fines. I'm not going to pay fines for no insurance, no registration, no uh, inspection sticker when I have it all. You don't go around paying fines for this. I'm on camera walking into his office trying to get it all dismissed right at once. And he told me, come back with a picture of the inspection sticker and it could be dismissed. They turn around and arrest me, give me a $20,000 bail on something that's not even a jailable offense. Your video on YouTube, not the last one you just put on. Which one? The, the one where you're outside of Milan Park. Yeah? And you're like kind of random, right? I know, I messed up. I messed up, made one error. I said 1.3 million. It's really 13 million to 19 million a year she gets paid. And Joe Manchin's daughter, I want to say this part here. The video shows you driving a car when your license is suspended. It's not good. The license should never have been suspended. I was never convicted of anything. How can you, how can you lose your license you. when you were not convicted? I'm just telling you that, that you were suspended in November. And, and where did they notify me? Where did they notify me? I don't know. How did they tell me? Huh? Mail. Huh? Mail? How was my license suspended when I was never convicted of any road tickets, told to pay anything? The Can you tell me that? Fires the certified letter to your house, and then you have notice that you've been suspended. And where did I get this suspension at? Where did it come to me at? Where's proof I signed for anything, knowing that you crooks you took it away from me? How did you dismiss, uh, okay, America, we were driving that motorhome home. That's what started this whole thing. Me and two other guys, me and Screwy Louie, was outside of the motorhome on the street. The other man ran that we picked up at the homeless shelter to drive it. You can hear him talking in the video. And, okay, Screwy Louie spent 20 days in jail for third offense driving without a license. He was not even driving. Neither one of us were driving. Neither one of us were pulled over. We were standing on the road. He was directing traffic around the broke down vehicle. Me was underneath of it trying to figure out where the leak was coming from. They dismiss his, but the man that is owed millions of dollars by his uh, his uh, cons conspirators or whatever, uh, what is the right word? Con art. Uh, what's the, the ones that commit felonies with you? What's that term called? 
Robsters? No, no, that, that, but when you're in a crime together, the other person is called oh, something. co-conspirator? Co-conspirator, yeah, that's what, your co-conspirators inside this building right here, trying to cover up everything they did, put a $20,000 bail on me for not showing up to a court hearing. How can you show up when the dirty, rotten judge himself restricted you from entering the building you're and... You're allowed to show up for your hearings. I was not. Read the, he amended the, he made three amendments to it. So the first one said I couldn't even be there. And I come in this door, America. I had a hearing upstairs in front of the dirty, rotten judge where the newspaper article published all, publicized all kinds of fake records about me, saying the, all these false medical conditions wrong with me. And I'm suing them right now. And the dirty, rotten judge knew that I'm untouchable there. How can you beat me on these cases? It's impossible to beat me on the things that I'm doing right now. That's why they're doing this. That's why Tim Armstead, the judge that needs kicked out of office, he had eight or nine months to respond to the final brief and just did. He's a one-eyed, inbred, hillbilly judge. You can read his paper. Little preschoolers know that you start at the top of a page and read to the bottom. Correct, John? Correct, Trey? Hold up, up. Answer the question. When you're reading, you go from top to bottom. Page two. I will say what I want. I expedite my first amendment. I know, but if you insult the judge who's making the decision, the judge, I'm bringing up the judge's stupidity. Go to page two. You have to start reading it. You have to start reading at the middle of the page and read to the bottom. Then you have to move your eyes to the top of the page and read from the top to the middle. And this man went to WVU, probably Tim Armstead. And this is somebody you're supposed to trust in judgments. I don't need education. I teach myself. Education is destructive. Education is destructive to the human brain. It does nothing for you but damage your brain with indoctrination of pure stupidity. You know, this is totally wrong. Where did he go? Tell us all so we can insult him more. Was showing where he uh, was indoctrinated with stupidity. Cannot even prep a page right for the public. He said in that order, America, that there was... Uh, yes. Where? WVU. WVU. Exactly. Right. The inbred hillbilly, uncivil university. He went there, and he was in. He got an element of two substances, stupidity and indoctrination. His order will be posted below this video. And Judge Jaynes is working with him. All of them are conspiring against me right now in this collusion operation. Like he said, I needed a mental evaluation just for a road ticket. When I'm coming right in here and telling you the truth of everything, how dirty they are. And, and you, you want me to be nice to a judge that can't even write a paper, right? No, I don't. I put in a motion yesterday. Until she gives you permission. Until that so she's happens. going to violate my, she'll be the second one to violate my uh, civil and human rights so on can, record? You can come in with your phone off, and then when she gives you permission to turn it on, then you can fill. But she has to, she has to give you that permission. And she has to give me permissions know, uh, for my civil rights in the United States? Yep. Judges, judges own my rights in the United States that I'm born with. Is that true? Is that what the statement you just made? Judges own my freedom of speech. Judges own my freedoms yeah, everywhere. In judges. In and around their courtroom? Yeah, their right. courtroom. Excuse me. That's the wrong term. My courtroom. I pay them with taxes. Do I not? I pay their pay well, wages. You didn't pay taxes last year. Do I pay their taxes? Do you pay their taxes? Did you file a tax return last year? Hey, President Trump, did you file your taxes last year? See, there we go. There we go. There we go. President Trump, he didn't have to prove his. I don't have to prove mine. And the phone needs to be put in the basket right here. Stop. Stop. Phone comes right here. And what? As I walk through these metal detectors now, it's new to me, America. This is a new addition here. It's not. It's been here for four months, America. Yes, ma'am. Anything in your pocket, sir? Nah. Money, keys. No, you worry about money or change. keys. They won't set it off. Then if not, nothing. Well, you have something on you. Go ahead, try it again. There's a pretty big on. punt. Oh, uh, money. Uh, Go ahead, slip through. No, I do not. Yes, you do. Under, um, if I am not required. Entering, if you are please, hear out, please hear me out. Not please hear me out. Please hear me out. Please hear me out. The ADA, the Federal Department of Justice has made it that way. I will read it to you. This is, man. I am exempt. You see, he comes in with a mask. You are not exempt. I am Nobody's exempt. exempt from going into the courtroom it's without a mask. Department of Justice. Department of Justice. You made the ruling. I have your law Put in my possession on. right now. I want to read you something before you make me do this so that you are well clear when I contact the Department of Justice and report this. Hey, that's fine. I am exempt from video, any ordinance. You can, you can video me handing you the mask to put on to go in the court. I am exempt of any ordinance to wear a face mask. Under the ADA laws, I have a mental and physical condition that prevents me from wearing this. 
The phone number is right below that order that they put out. And the next thing I will tell you is uh, initial violation is a $75,000 fine for violating the ADA rules. And for subsequent violators, it is a $150,000 fine. Department of Justice, you are hearing this right now. He is trying to force me to violate your rules under the American Disabilities Act, which is the most serious penalties there is in the United States. I do not have to disclose my medical conditions to this man, and he is trying to violate my American disability rights. So are you going to violate my rights on camera to the Department of Justice when I publicize this one and send it to their OIG reporting line? Zach, it's posted through the whole courthouse. It does not matter. You can't overrule. You can overrule the Department of Justice. It's the Supreme Court. Where is the Supreme Court of the United States made a ruling? Right there. Okay, where's the ADA rule violation that Everything Marion County, right. West Virginia? Hey, we're not going to argue with you. You have four. Let's go. I'm not going to. I I refuse. It's against my health but conditions to put that on. Carry it in there then, and then you can ask the judge. Okay, and I'll, you Turn know. Turn the phone off now. What about we're not to the courtroom? They turn said it. Turn it off. They're going to hurt me. Turn it off. We're not going to hurt you. Turn the phone off. Turn turn the phone off. off. I'm going to leave it right here and wait until John comes out to show that that order of the judge either violated my civil rights as a human in the United States and before you go over there, it. you need to put a mask on. So you're violating the ADA it's rules. the Supreme Court's rules. You it's have to have The Department of mask. Justice makes up the rules. They made the order that said, matter. I am not to be wearing this with my health conditions. Well, Mental we're and physical. what So you're going to try to force health care on me right now. The entire... Earth. You, you're going in front of Missy. You I'm not putting this on my face. On. I can't do it. I refuse to do this. It's against my health issues. Well, then we'll just have to ask the judge I had a seizure she... in Morgantown. We'll just have to ask the judge if she wants to hear your case today. Okay, I, I, will, I will never put this on for nobody. There's going to be major civil oh. wars starting in the United States when H.R. 666666 bill passes. That's going to happen. Why do I need to wear this when the CDC has said themselves that this does nothing for you? When did um, Bill Gates become a doctor to make a vaccine with a patent number 060606 and all the rest of the numbers in it? The CDC changed their mind about it. This all is going to start up again. You can go to Walmart and it see that this is fake. Difference. Look at Walmart floors. They have six foot squares. The reason they say six feet, they if you're closer think. than six feet together, the cameras cannot identify your face. That's the reason six feet rule is there. Zach, they're going to issue a case for you. If you for what? If you don't, if you don't, go, if you don't put the mask on. I'm just, I'm just telling you how it is. They didn't say I had to wear how to wear it. You I'm tie learning. it over your head and you put it over your mouth and nose. Oh man, you're the doctor. What? Well, you're the smart one. You didn't go to college. You're, you're the smart one. Put it on. What's the way to wear it? Like, like this. Blood like this. Right? Don't be an ass. Come on. I don't want to wear this. This is wrong for me. You're violating my rights. This is all on camera. I'm not going to wear this. For what? I, I, I want to read you. I am exempt from. Hey, are you going to listen to what she's telling you? Can I please tell her no. the law? She is. She is trying to talk all to you. All of us are required to buy do you know what the Department of Justice is? Are you aware of that? I am exempt from wearing any face mask under the I'm American not. Disability Acts laws. Uh, I am not. It is imposed as a threat to my physical and mental health conditions. And you have to put it on, sir. Okay. I can't do this. It's hurting my health right now. What, what health issue do you have? That is I am not required to disclose that to you under the American Disability Acts laws. There is a, for initial violators. There is a seventy-five thousand dollar fine for subsequent violators. There is a hundred and fifty thousand dollar fine in the United States. Now, once I get the videos. So uh, this here has to do now with uh, with me being one hundred percent not guilty of the crimes they charge me with right here in this envelope. Why did Kanawha County? So you're going to try to you're 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 admitting to the ADA on the record here with this whole thing live that you're violating a seventy five thousand dollar penalty fine when I said it is against my health issues to wear this. I do not want yes, to wear I'm this. Okay, uh, ADA, you hold up. You're touching my phone. Yeah, I'm turning it off because I already told you to turn it off. Can I record this hearing today? You're gonna, are you going to violate my civil rights? You, you, you swore to uphold the U.S. Constitution. I put it in within Let 24 hours. Let her speak. Hours. Okay, I will now. I'm, I've made the stop. Okay. You can't record it. The court rules don't provide for it. If you want to get a stop. Department of Justice. If you come in here and you start getting disrupted, there's contempt of court fine you have to pay. Okay, I already gave my bail papers, or I already gave my Hold cards to the bail bondsmen. Hold another charge. So get your You're charging yourself $75,000 penalty right now, and I am going to... Oh, you're going to get a 
for you violate my civil she, rights and my health hey, issues. Hey, she's trying to talk to her. She's trying to hurt me lady. putting this on. She's not. that on another day, okay? If we're going to address your charges today. You can deal with me later about what so, you want to have me charged with, okay? I can't wear this right here. I'm going to put it right here. Wearing it. It doesn't say where you have to wear it. I'm going to wear it right here around my neck. You're going to wear it like the rest of us is. Why are you guys Do the black you sheep of society? We are flying by the rules of the Supreme Court. The rules of Supreme so the the part the West Virginia let me get this right. You just said something very important right Mr. there. Notch, the West Virginia Supreme Court to Hey, listen to her. The building now. And what happens if I leave and refuse to I'll violate shoot, my health conditions? I'll issue a KBS for your arrest. You what? Issue, issue a KBS, KBS for your arrest. For your arrest. So you your cannot issue a KBS for a summons. You know that, right? That's one of the issues Too we're gonna talk about here. Are you today. gonna stay and put it on or are you gonna leave? Choose. I'll wear it right like this, underneath my chin. I'm not okay, going to put it on my face. The building now, right? So you're going to issue a warrant for my arrest if I don't wear this. I'm threatened either you die or right. wear this. All, All right, right, how about this? Let's go. I'll do it just to get my license back. Let's Here, go. let's go. She told you no. You disagree. I'm going right over to talk. Hey, these fucking bastards in here, America, they held me hostage for three years, forcing me to take dope I did not even want that Patrick Morrissey's wife distributes to these places in the state of West Virginia that knock you the fuck out. I was forced to piss the bed from age 26 to 29. They were putting me into too deep of a sleep, overdosing me on medication. Any doctor will testify to that when they see the amounts I was forced to take in there. You cannot say no when you subject yourself to slavery and West Virginia is stealing $750 a day off torture in your body. They sacrifice humans in there. They force you to take dope. You don't want it. If you say no, they scream this at you. Swallow now! We'll call the support team, strap you to the bed, and shoot you up with it. That's what you're told in there. And if you say no, 10 people come in, handcuff you to a bed, and two nurses run in and shove needles in your body. If I would have subjected myself to putting on a face mask, it's the same as giving up my human rights for this uncivil state of West Virginia, and I'm not going to do it. Writers, all you go. I support all you. Get the justice you require in the United States, because they did not serve justice. She had just ice in her pocket that she was putting up her nose the night before to get horny to have sex with her husband she's fighting with. Is what was going through her brain right there. I got just ice today. And not just this. You cannot be arrested for a summons. A summons means that you're being sued by the police officer. I'm going to teach you, America, how to beat any road ticket there is. Read the Seventh Amendment. Do they really want to spend $1,100 for that? She threatened to do bodily harm to me by violating the ADA rules. She threatened to have me arrested for something that's not even an arrestable offense. You cannot issue a capius for a summons. I was being sued. It means I lost. I was in the courtroom. You've seen that. You got these dirty fucking bitches. She's a feminist showing, trying to be equal to men and stuff. She's got a hard, she's fucking wet for me right now. She was a good judge. I was going to say something good about her. She set my bail lower than anyone did in the courthouse that's trying to cover up for the federal fraud that they're doing in the state of West Virginia. Al-Qaeda, all you people overseas, China, you want your tariff money back, come to the state of West Virginia, set up shop, and start stealing federal funds. West Virginia University Medicine can steal a million dollars in my name and have no medical record, no consent to see me. Judges can go around here threatening people. The dirty rotten judge, I'm gonna publicize that video right there where he threatened me on camera right up here. Right up here is where he threatened me. Right there is where he parks, and right there is where he threatened me. Yeah! We'll see if they hear that case. It's all planned out to take me down and not pay me 16 to 30 million dollars that they owe me. And me putting on a face mask would be degrading myself, violating my medical conditions. As you can see, PTSD is the worst syndrome you can deal with. I deal with that every day from what they did to me. We're in that building right there. Dana Shea cried to me in apology. I showed up to do an eviction case and he became a magistrate after he was the persecutor on my case. He's sitting there, why don't you go back to the Merchant Marines if you like doing that and hate being a landlord. I can't, Dana, for what you did to me. And he started crying right there in front of me, wiping his eyes, apologizing to me. There was never evidence to nothing they did to me. They held me hostage and tortured me. U.S. soldiers, 
I know why you kill yourselves for PTSD issues. It's hard to deal with. I will never do that. But I know why more people from the military have killed themselves than live with the pain that's in this from what they did. Somebody, no justice, no peace. An injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. What affects one directly affects all indirectly. No justice, no peace. This, just, this judge needs to put justice in her pocket, not just ice to get horny for her husband that she's having problems with. I've seen some bitches in the street do that. Their pussies just start dripping as soon as they put that ice up their nose. And that's what's probably going on her with her right now at home to get her husband to her because she's such a witch. You've seen her act like a witch in there, threatening to arrest me, violate my disability rights. I will never subject myself to slavery for any of these people in this building. Like they held me a slave for three years, stealing money off, making my body do things I didn't want to do. All people across the country.